Dark Out Hello there everyone, Dark Out here and welcome back to some more Colonist Land or Toddler Land. <laughs> welcome back to some more Autonauts and as you guys might have anticipated from the last episode, today our goal is to get everything converted to Mark II bots because right now we have 82 bots. We have to replace them all. Imagine replacing a 300 bots instead. I will, I will literally cry doing that. And I have assigned a bot to fill this place up. So, first things first, we are gonna avoid the mistakes I have kept doing in all creative games. Every time it comes time to upgrade from something my 2018 self or hell even early 2019 self would have completely stopped all the robots in here then would have manually started building mark ii robots and then would have ran out of resources and then would have manually collected the resources to complete that upgrade but but big fat juicy butts this time around, we are gonna keep this running because we will need resources and we will need these researchers too. And instead, in here, somewhere around in here, right, we will make a good hot thing. Maybe, maybe just a space for bot production because we will need some bot production. So this is gonna be the area where we produce bot and for that we will need flooring because basic bot workbench, if you see, like, if you go ahead and I think you can upgrade that to now. But if you upgrade that, it needs a panel and a square frame. And once it does that, I have seen that it needs a flurry to work. So yeah, let's cancel that for now. We will need bots. We will need a lot of bots to do this thing. First things first, everything needs to be shoveled out of here. Do I assign a bot to do this? Or do I just do it like that? And second thing, we need a mushroom storage because I really do not want to waste that mushroom so let's go ahead and we will make a mu small mushroom storage in here pretty easy to do now that we have a scooter too we are quite fast literally double the speed like this is the most cutesy game I have ever played guys hey, Jesus this game is too cutesy for me <laughs> I melt from all the cutesiness every time I play this game especially when I hear those damn fetus colonists he's doing his job pretty slowly pretty slowly you realize how slow these bots are when you look at them working individually like they're so much slower than the human autonaut that we have here but th that kind of makes us the sense slower but when there are 80 of them working <laughs> that's 40 times the speed <laughs> if you consider that the bots are half the speed of this human here all right this area has been filled up and i'm now i'm worried about that area so let's go grab a blade why are you not working because i forgot to add a fail condition there you go now you shall work very good all right what was I got? Yeah, cut, cut. I was gonna cut grasses. All right, let me grab the blades. Blades, like Jesus. <laughs> They're using a lot of blades up. Look at the amount of. They were using so much blade that I had to add two people, like two bots with picks to pick up stone and now they're overproducing stone so yeah <laughs> all right grasses have been cut i'm pretty sure these grasses don't decompose that because that's been lying there from episode four i think so <laughs> and not a big deal i'm just gonna incinerate those nah let's keep them here i don't i don't really want to incinerate some resources we haven't touched yet because who knows how many we will need cut it up cut you can't cut it if it's growing. Great, that is gonna be a patch I'm gonna regret for a few minutes. <laughs> hey, research complete. We have a panel, we have the square frame, we have the fixing peg, we have the structural workbench. Research station build, yes, my boy. What will you have me unlock? You will give me a nice billboard and an even longer even longer commemorative slab nice what did we unlock we unlocked a structural workman and yeah as you guys can see it says you need a floor to have it working you absolutely need a floor so what oh 
What are these gonna do? Like, what new things? Oh, you can make fixing peg in a chopping block. You can make floors out of zoom. No, build boards in this. Okay. Make get the sense. Lots of cereal. And look at that. Oh, that's a heart shape. Hole in the ground. And I don't know how to pick up this pumpkin crop though. So we'll, we'll go find out. Pumpkin, how do you pick you up? Because I tried to cut it. I tried to shovel it. Doesn't work. Raw pumpkin. How did come pumpkin? You need a scythe. Okay, make up the sense sometimes. Sometimes these things do make sense when you look at it. So you'll need a scythe. There you go. That is the scythe and we will turn it back to the pick. How did that smaller crop create this big a pumpkin? Look at us. <laughs> The pumpkin literally is bigger than us. <laughs> a freaking pumpkin. Well, we're gonna build something, right? Good flooring. Good flooring is gonna need one log and two planks. So we are gonna need way more robots. Jesus. Oh god. <laughs> one plank. Like one log and two planks for each flooring. Okay. Hey, like forestry. Buckle up, you are in for a massive wood demand now. <laughs> Alright, so we will need a bit of flooring. Let's see. Uh, around that, maybe? A bit more? A bit bigger? Let's see. Make sure that's a square. That's 12 by 12. My eyes are pretty great, I see. I see my eyes are pretty good. And that's now 13 by 13. But now that is gonna be 12 by 12. We can't drag and delete them. God damn it. Alright, that should be a good enough thing to start with. These will need one log and two planks. So dear... Uh... Floor maker one, you will go grab a log from here. And you will go drop that there. This is gonna take a while. This is absolutely gonna take a while to build. <laughs> Floor builder two, you sir are gonna go grab four planks till your hands are like full. And you're gonna go to drop them there. This is gonna look like a mess for a bit. <laughs> and now what are these fences gonna need? Let's see. Uh, I would like to go with the log wall. These log walls will lead three logs! Oh god! <laughs> this is gonna be so big three logs and three fixing pegs oh god <laughs> Jesus this is gonna be big oh at least these connect so that's nice and I want them double <laughs> like double high maybe even triple high so this is gonna be a nightmare <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, triple high, please. And we will need a log arc. I will worry about the arc later. Maybe I should have done this. In an odd number, so we have one place, but but then we can, yeah, we can absolutely have two places to go out. All right, yeah, that can work. <laughs> that is gonna take a terrifying amount of wood, so I'm gonna add more bots to haul the log because three logs, Jesus. Also, we need a chopping table. Yeah, structural workbench. Don't know yet, so yeah, we're gonna need. Chopping two chopping tables to chop the peg legs and we are gonna need a lot large storage for that so log and crude eggs 
Could X could X X you I ask you a question <laughs> Actually I'll start these I think I need more <laughs> Yeah brother brothers <laughs> start these I will need more bots <laughs> I thought yeah this is why I didn't stop all these bots that would have been a disaster Look at how much wood and stuff and automation we need before even starting with Mark II bots. Alright, so uh, fixing peg will be one pole only, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, peg maker! Arr! <laughs> You're gonna grab four poles until your hands are full. You're gonna go drop them in. Until your hands are empty. That will make two fixing pegs, so I don't need the two of these blocks. Okay. Until your hands are empty. And then... You're gonna get stuck. If not full... This storage. I'm gonna repeat that forever. And you, sir, you're gonna haul the peg. Let him make a few pegs. <laughs> All right, this is going really slow because we ran, <laughs> we ran out of flag, we ran out of logs, and then we're like 25% complete. But I'm noticing we're not getting enough holes. So, dear uh, digger three, go grab a spade. <laughs> How many diggers are we gonna need? Until hands full. And go dig up soil. Until hands empty. Oh yeah, we have the incinerator, right? So I'll designate a bot. Move to a crude bot. Is it gonna be a crude bot? Nah, but yeah, we will. Not max the area, we'll only do these bots. And sorry guys, you guys gotta go. Or maybe I'll just store them in a bot storage somewhere. Like absolute bots. Yeah, yeah, they have been they have been through me for a long time. I, I yeah, I I don't feel like incinerating them anymore. Never mind. Never mind. I don't feel like incinerating them anymore. They have been, they have been the beginnings. They are the, they are our roots. Let's not incinerate them. We'll just store them in a few boss storages around in here. And now to another problem. <laughs> Too many trees, not enough choppers. <laughs> How is this even happening? You can keep running out of bot strength. Like what? <laughs> I right, delete that. Go <laughs> grab a crude eggs, but yeah, I, it kind of makes sense. We only have one tree chopper. Oh, hey! While that cabin thing is getting built, we researched another thing. We got good gear, crank, crude axle, wooden shaping bench. Still, not, like research is going faster than the, the freaking building of that thing, guys. Like simple stone shaping. All right, let's go with stone shaping. We just need to plop down. A stone there. Look at that. The amount of stone we are going through just because I doubled the usage of spade and axes and what. <laughs> look at, look at it. It's like 40% complete at the moment. Well, the pegs are getting delivered quite nicely, but 45% complete at the moment. Jesus Christ, not even 50%. But look how gorgeous this is gonna look once it's complete. That is absolutely gonna look gorgeous for our bot production. Guarantee you that. <laughs> soon, soon this mess will be sorted out and soon my base will look like other people's bases where their base needs like this big of an area. My base is like, yeah, a little bit stuffed to the floor right in here. Should have really upgraded that <laughs> lumber sector right there. I'm realizing how much wood we need. Like, look, even the poles are out. <laughs> oh, I do think, like, once all these walls are complete and once all these floors are complete, only then we are gonna be able to do the rest of those things. Like, Jesus Christ. 
progress is certainly being made. It looks a lot cleaner because this guy doesn't have planks. <laughs> because planks are not being produced because we have no logs. So I think I'm gonna go and play for five minutes and assist these bots in doing their stuff. <laughs> And with that, this enclosure is finally complete. And if you can see in the distance, we have a wolf problem. Because <laughs> the research is complete. Shape stone, chisel stone, mallet, masonry bench and whatnot. And we need to assign a new research. And as you guys can see from the last clip, I had the idea of making a time blast way too late. So you get half a time lapse, okay? So, <laughs> shh, shh, you get half a time lapse. All right, masonry bench that indeed needs some flooring and stuff. That you know, lots of things now need flooring. I'm glad I made that, but our focus for today is again Mark II bots. So we are gonna do that. Okay, basic clay station, simple parts. Let's do that. We're gonna do basic clays and parts. We have. A cumulative of 2,000 web stored so I'm quite happy about that and let's get started with our dear mark 2 bot production area let us go create some pallets first we'll need some pallets here oh now that I place the pallets I can see that this is absolutely like this is absolutely not a very big area we might need a bigger area but that isn't gonna be much of a problem is it we, we can just go afk again and th they will build a palace too all i need to do is bring the poles that is nice because we don't have a pole hauler here and i think when we have the mark II bot army i will make a few bots that will like place logs and planks and stuff everywhere wherever our base is wherever it needs a log and plank and stuff so that will make a make it a lot easier for us we need a lot bigger area guys yeah we definitely <laughs> definitely need a lot bigger area all right let's move those this is gonna be a bit of a a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a time consumption definitely gonna be a bit of a time consumption to move these walls all right let's see we will need three of these in a row so if i take a gap i will say three and four so we need two more space in here jesus christ <laughs> oh build it up bots build it up build it up <laughs> yeah this will absolutely need planks and poles like that shit. I should probably make a pole hauler too. Let's Yeah guys, at this point I might be making a bit over the top design. <laughs> like look at that. Bot storage, I need panel and square frame. I'll have to do that manually, but look at these storages. Should I add storages here too? That is gonna be for like four or five upgrades and there are gonna be two storage here. Should I add two storage storages? Yeah, I think I definitely should do that because that kind of looks nicer. Or maybe not, maybe not, no, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is complete, guys. Look at how beautiful that looks. We shall bring them close to in here. Let's go, let's go. Close there and close there. Uh, let's say there there with one block in the middle of these two so it is not too hard to navigate this area and that will be it and now this area looks actually big so let's go ahead 
upgrade these things because as you guys can see right now we cannot make mark two things because we need to upgrade them we will need like four logs which will promptly be delivered we need all advanced ones and then we shall need eight panels and six square frames each so we gotta automate that too i think they are made in the good workbench so generals you guys can work once more well, no, not in the good workbench. Maybe in the crude one? Uh, nope. Where are you guys made? I think in the structural workbench then? Or good workbench? Nah, masonry bench? Wood shaping bench? I think it is made on the structural workbench. So we are going to go ahead, plop in the structural workbench here. We're going to make this. Uh, it. Let's make it closer to our base, right? Yeah. Let's make it much closer to our base so we are gonna have a, have an easier time making that thing. And yeah, that will not work without a flooring. So let us move that into where there is some kind of flooring. And let's see what we can make in the structural workbench. In the structural workbench, you can make square frame, right? But it will need four poles and four pick fix a fixing pack yeah right dark out right so how many will we need we will need six square frame per bench so we'll need 36 of these 36 of these we definitely need oh more bots more bots where are my generals generals do start your working So far it had made only one square frame because the travel time for these guys is a bit too long, right? So we're gonna make flooring hill and we're gonna produce the stuff in here. See? It's producing it much faster here. Okay, let us see. That is two square frame. We shall move this thing to now. Right on top of here. Come on, come on. Why did you have to walk there? We can put it right there. Didn't need these two floors. I am a bit of a dummy sometimes. But now, it can produce panels. So we'll need another bot that can produce panels. And why are you getting stuck? Freaking why are you getting stuck? Let's cancel that, I guess. Alright, so you shall be <laughs> panel maker. So what panel maker is gonna do is gonna pick up a square frame from here, put it in, he's gonna do that once, and then he's gonna go pick up four planks, so until hands full, and they're gonna go drop it into there, until his hands are empty, and then he's gonna go grab fixing pegs, and he's gonna go drop them there. The single bot cannot do this. Unless I say add some bot upgrade to it, so we're gonna have to make a bot upgrade. Let's see. Uh, this thing, let's cancel that. Let's make a crude bot memory upgrade. Two poles and two C's, right? We'll go upgrade that bot. There you go. Now you shall gain. No, 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 stop. Learn to go pick up pegs until your hands are full and drop pegs. Until your hands are empty. Nice. That's how you work. You gotta repeat that forever. You got that? Yeah, repeat that forever. There you go. Structural frames are being produced at a decent rate now. Now that they don't have to travel the whole country to do it. And we shall put these structural frames into here. As many as possible for right now. Because this is... Holy crap, this took me five hours to do. <laughs> Oh god, good bot workbench, right? Oh, you can only carry one panel at a time. That's heavy. Now I need a panel hauler. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> Look at how slow we are with the panels. Slower than a goddamn log. Oh. We need eight of these panels for one of these guys. Okay. 
panel hauler. You shall go pick up a panel, my friend. You shall go drop it in these blueprints. This is gonna be a hell of a long video to edit for me. <laughs> There you go, our first bet. Good bot workbench, right? Good bot workbench, let us see. Bot head mark 2, plank pull and trees is not too shabby. Panels, pull and fixing pegs. Hmm. Hmm. Pull, panel, fixing peg, good gear, crude wheel. Holy crap, these Mark II bots are real expensive. And you know what that calls for, guys? It calls for an even bigger area. <laughs> because, it, like, let's be realistic here, guys. Like, if you go ahead, we'll need multiple bot assembly units, right? Like, at least two of these. That goes that area, right? And now we can place stuff in here, like, uh... I think... I'll just jam them close to each other because this area needs more area in it. Yeah, even then, even then, this area needs two more area in it. Look at the army coming in. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be again a long, long, long time to complete this blueprint. Oh god. Panels making slow. These are actually being made fast. Ugh, long time. So I think I'll end this episode here, guys. Unfortunately, we could not go to the Mark II bots in this episode, but we have almost made the prep for it so next episode it is guaranteed that we will go start with them hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video thanks for watching i'm dark Cow, and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh god before yeah i wanted to show you guys something before ending this episode we are running out of planks and poles so basically i added two Plank choppers and two pole choppers and that is still not enough. So we need three plank choppers and three pole choppers. Let that goddamn expensive sink in, guys. Like, oh, wow.